Hey guys, me Dr. Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So our storm cycle will continue until about 2:10, and then after that, it's it's much more ragged. Um, and I'll show you that coming up. Here's a timeline for additional snow. Utah, your snow picks up this afternoon through 2:9. Wyoming, some light snow today picks up then in intensity through 2:9. Um, Colorado, you've got some snow will pick up this afternoon through 2-9. A weak storm system will come out of the Pacific Northwest and kind of race across the northern tier and then potentially down through Wyoming and Colorado, 2-11 and 2-12 with some light snow accumulations. And then the pattern is much drier, 2-13 through 2-17. All right, let's go to the uh, water vapor satellite imagery this morning. I'll show you what's going on. So on this, your moisture loft is in your whites, your blues, and your greens. And our storm system finally pulling out of California after all of that heavy rain and snow. Now it's moving into the interior, and that's why I think the precip will start to pick up in intensity today, especially this afternoon across the Intermountain West. Behind it, a large storm system here will move up through Alaska, Canada, and send some energy down into the lower 48 in the extended forecast. In fact, here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the, uh, the look by this afternoon. Notice the snowfall has increased in intensity across the Intermountain West. By tomorrow morning, much more widespread snow, and that's definitely the case by 2-7 in the afternoon. A lot of snow. Another little piece of energy, you can see it diving into California. That'll come in and be absorbed into the storm system and keep the snow going. So there's 2-8. And by the time we get into 2-9 in the morning, look what's coming out of northern California and Oregon, Washington. That's another piece of energy that will slide in to the Intermountain West and keep the snow going. So here's 2-9 in the afternoon. There it goes, dive south. By 2.10, just some leftover snow in Colorado, and then it moves away. Here's that northern tier storm, 2.11, 2.12, somewhere right in there. And you can see it's coming down out of the Pacific Northwest, B.C., running through Idaho, Wyoming, Montana. And then eventually it slips down into Colorado with some very light snow accumulation. And then after that, there's a little bit of snow that tries to survive, but it's a much drier pattern, 2.13 through probably 2.17. All right, let's look at the jet pattern here. So this is 2.7. Big broad trough, storm system still moving through the Intermountain West. The backside leaves the door open for those two pieces of additional energy to dive in and be absorbed. 2-9, uh, the trough is still there, but it's starting to tilt and it'll eventually move away. Um, so that's the last part of that storm system, last basic last piece of the storm cycle. Here's 215. Now, like I said, by 215, we're looking at a much drier pattern, potentially some high pressure ridging across. Um, the west, certainly the west coast. So uh, quite, a, quite a little different pattern there by 2.15. All right, snowfall by time period today through tomorrow. Most of the snow you see in the Wasatch, again, starts up this afternoon and runs through 2.9. Um, so there will definitely be some accumulation, probably 6 to 8 inches across uh, the Tetons, potentially 9 at Sun Valley, 6 at Big Sky. Now in Colorado, the biggest numbers are going to be in western and southwest Colorado, in particular, the bullseye is in southwest Colorado with a couple of feet, one to two feet, between today and tomorrow. That's how fast that snow is going to come down. And then maybe another three to ten in the Sierra. Let's do the next time period. So this is 2.8 through 2.10, and potentially another 9 to 14 across the Wasatch during that period. Another five or six in the Tetons, western and southwest Colorado. Get another 4 to 12 inches. That'll be awesome. Less on the Continental Divide in Summit County. Um, about 5 down in Bryan Head, maybe a foot in Snow Bowl and looking really good down there. 8 to 10 through northern New Mexico. All right, one last stop. So this is 211 through 215. That one final northern tier storm comes through with some light snow accumulations all the way down through potentially uh, Colorado and northern New Mexico. All right, one last stop. Let's go to the northeast. Um, I don't have a lot of snow here. Nothing big has changed, no big changes. So one to three inches will probably do it for the major ski areas. And again, that happens pretty late in the time period. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.